welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, August 12th, and today we're going to be filming a vlog. Woo! So, first things first, on the agenda today, we are headed inside and seasoning up some pork butts to throw on the smoker. They have to cook for a long time, so it is currently 10 o'clock, about to season these up and get them ready for the smoker. The first thing is covering them with yellow mustard. You can't taste it, but it acts as a binder for the seasoning that we're gonna put on them. First things first, let's cover these babies in mustard. Uh -oh, I think we're almost out of this one. Now that the pork butts are covered in mustard, we're gonna go ahead and season them up. We're using this Flaps 20 CPR rub. It's made for like chicken, pork, and ribs. So we're gonna cover that butt in it. And then we also are using some of this Pits and Spits uh, all-purpose rub on one of the butts as well. All right, let's get to season them. The butts are seasoned and ready to go on the smoker. Once it heats up, we'll head outside and throw them on. Our smoker is smoking, so what that means is we gotta come out here, close the lid, and it's gonna start heating up to 275 degrees. Ooh, I just love the smell of our smoker. We're using a Pit Boss competition blend of pellets. I don't really know what it's a mix of, but yeah, I'm excited to use my smoker today. These are gonna be on here for a majority of the day, but man, by the end of the day, they're gonna be looking so darn delicious. All right, let's pop them in. We'll be there all day in the Pits and Spits pellet grill. <laughs> you have said he has that toy. <laughs> For breakfast this morning, we decided that we're going to break out our griddle because it's been a little while since we've used it. So we're going to cook us up some bacon, some eggs, and I am excited. I'm going to give this Birch Benders Keto Pancake Mix a try. I've had this in my pantry for months now, so I am really excited to finally put it to use and make some pancakes on our griddle. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to check out the instructions, mix this up, and we're going to head outside and get to cooking. I just looked in my pantry and found these sugar-free chocolate chips that are sweetened with monk fruit. I think I'm going to have to make this breakfast a little bit sinful and add a couple of these chocolate chips to our keto pancake mix. Does that not sound delicious? Oh, I'm excited for this breakfast. It is time to make our breakfast feast out here on the griddle. We've got bacon, eggs, and pancakes. Got the griddle heating up. So Cody is working on the pancakes. We're just using a stick of butter and melting it onto the griddle directly. And then we'll pour the pancakes right on top of that. Ooh, those are gonna be so good. Adding a couple of the sugar-free chocolate chips to the pancakes. Ooh, the bacon is going and it looks amazing. Cody's trying to flip the pancakes over there. Our breakfast feast is complete. We got our pancakes, we got some eggs, we got some bacon. Time to make our plate. To go with breakfast, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. So I just brewed up some vanilla coffee that I got at Aldi's and y'all, the entire kitchen smells like vanilla and it is amazing. So I know you usually can't taste the flavored coffees. Well, at least I can't but the smell of it makes it totally worth it. I'm just gonna finish off this little thing of heavy cream. 
And then lastly, of course, the stevia. And it is time to go enjoy our delicious breakfast feast. Breakfast is served. I got two pieces of pancakes since they kind of fell apart. Some very crispy bacon, my favorite. Got my coffee and I'm gonna use a little bit of this sugar-free syrup on my pancakes. Ooh, I can't wait to dig in. We just finished eating breakfast and my review of those keto pancakes, they actually weren't that bad. They tasted pretty good. However, there is kind of the like almond flour kind of coarseness that you can taste in them, which I didn't mind at all. Cody didn't really like it that much, but as someone who, you know, eats a lot of low carb keto foods, I thought it was good. I would definitely purchase those again to have like a breakfast treat every so often. I give them a thumbs up. I recommend them. So every hour or so, we open up the, the smoker and we spritz them with a mixture of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Look at how good they're looking. Keeps them moist and delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that bark on them already. It is now three o'clock and Cody and I are headed over to the post office because I have some signed photos I need to ship out today. I am also sipping on one of my sweetened strawberry sparkling waters. Cody is covered in grass all over himself because he has been mowing the grass. And I also have a different color shirt on than I had in the last clip because I poured stuff down the front of my body while I was out watering the plants and stuff. So if you're not going crazy, I did change color shirts. off at the post office we always come to this one in Old Baytown because there is never anyone here it is great but also I just wanted to show y'all my mask it's got llamas on it my friend Sherry who's a subscriber sent me some really cute masks Look, there's llamas I love them so much all right but now I gotta take it off and for those wondering um we're still under mandatory mask wearing in Texas. I don't know how it is other places, but right now it's mandated that you have to wear a mask when you go out in public, which I have no problem with, especially when I get cute ones like llamas. We're just getting home from the post office and Cody is finishing mowing the yard. Our yard is growing so, so fast right now because we've had rain. I wanted to show y'all an Amazon find that I found. I threw out a bunch of my sandals because they were old and gross. And so I needed some new ones. So I looked on Amazon and I found these. The name of the shoe is Circus by Sam Edelman or something. But these cost me like $26.99. I got the brown and like a snake skin color. And these are really high quality and super nice. So if you're looking for a good pair of sandals, I'll link these down below. Cooper, do not eat my shoe, you crazy thing. But these are really nice. I wore the snakeskin print one the other day and I'm debating ordering. Cooper, do not eat my shoes, you crazy. But I'm debating ordering a third pair in black because these are great little slip-on sandals to have for summertime. Stop eating my stuff, you crazy. And here are the snakeskin ones that I bought as well, but I thought I'd share these with y'all because I'm always looking for some good little summer sandals. And for the price, these are super well made. It's by a good shoe company. So yeah, I thought I'd share them with y'all. Every time I ask Cooper if he wants to come outside, he sprints through the house and runs to the backyard. So I guess it is time to play ball. Let's play some fetch pups. <laughs> They're ready. They're like, who is going to get this darn ball? Every time Bo gets the ball, he has to stop and roll around on top of it. Every time. 
It's just so much fun to roll on top of the ball. Ain't it Bobo? Ain't it Bobo? Yeah. Don't take that ball inside. Don't do it, Bo. Don't do it. Well, this is definitely a terrible angle, but I just ran up to Walgreens because we have the pulled pork that is just about done. And Cody was upset that I didn't get him some hamburger buns to make a pulled pork sandwich because nothing beats a toasted bun pulled pork sandwich. I gotta hand it to him. So I came up here, got the only thing of buns that Walgreens had left. But while I was there, I also had to get myself something. I got some of this crystal light wild strawberry, yum and water because I really want to try it out. And now I am going to pour my little crystal light into my water bottle. Mmm, smells so good. Find the top. And I got me some crystal light to drink on the way back to the house. Yay, I am so hungry right now. It is 5.42 actually. And all I've had is that bacon and egg and those pancakes this morning. And I have to say, I am so darn hungry, but I don't want to eat anything because we are so close to having dinner ready, which is why I got this. So maybe it'll hold me over for like the next 30 minutes to an hour until it is pulled pork time because y'all, they are looking so good. Also, by the way, I was able to find brand name Germex the other day. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually seen Germex. I am very proud of my Germex find. I hadn't seen it in months. This stuff is like a hot commodity right now. All right, time to head on back home. As soon as I got home from Walgreens, Cody said these pork butts are ready to come off. Oh, no. Ooh, I mean, these look phenomenal, y'all. Absolutely phenomenal. They're apparently falling apart. Ooh. These are gonna be so good. Just look at that, that bark on it. Oh! Here's the other one. We got the pork butts off the grill and it's gotta rest for about 30 to 45 minutes until you eat it. So it is sitting here on the stove resting. But to go with the pork, I decided to roast some asparagus. I got the best asparagus at the grocery store. All these little thin stalks, those are my absolute favorite. I've got my oven heating up to 400 degrees and I threw a little bit of avocado oil over the top of the asparagus, added some grated Parmesan cheese and squeezed half of a lemon. And there we go, I mixed it all together with my hands. I'm gonna pop it in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and we'll have a quick and easy, delicious side to go with our meat. After about 15 minutes, I pulled the asparagus out of the oven and it is perfectly cooked. So the asparagus is done and now it's time to pull these puppies apart. Mmm. Cody's using some meat claws to start shredding up the meat. And look at how easy it's pulling apart. Frickin' yum. Dinner is served and I'm so excited because I am hungry. So we've got our roasted asparagus. I've got my pulled butt and I topped it with some of this G Hughes sugar-free hickory flavored barbecue sauce. I'm sure I'll go back for seconds on the meat. Ooh, this looks so good. Time to dig on in. We decided to clean the boat really quickly because it is pretty gross. But I just wanted to show y'all this cleaner on our hull. Watch how crazy it is. You spray it on and it like immediately changes color. Is that not crazy? It goes like white before your eyes. This is my favorite thing ever. I think it's so neat. Look at that. Look at that, look at the difference. Is that not crazy? Oh, it's so cool. It's my favorite thing. But look at the difference, look at the difference. I have now changed for the third time in this video because I had to put on pants and a t-shirt 
because me, Cody, and my dad are going on a walk. Even though it's kind of late, it's 8, 12, we decided, why not go on a walk? Get our sweat on. It should be a good evening to do so. So we just got to my parents' house. Time to get ready to go on a walk. Come here. I haven't gotten to introduce y'all to my parents' new rescue puppy. This is Harley. We think she's some sort of terrier, maybe Maltese mix. She's a cute little thing. We rescued her. And my mom was originally thinking about rehoming her. We had just like saved her from a situation. But now she has completely fallen in love with my dad. So she is here forever, right? Yeah. She's like, I want to go back inside. There we go. Two hours later. Well, y'all, it is 10.07 p.m. now. Me, my dad, Cody, and the pups, we went on about a two-mile walk this evening. It was kind of later than normal than we usually walk, so we didn't get the two and a half to three miles that we've normally been doing, but it was still really good to get up, get moving, and sweat. I am working on cutting some weight, and so I am really trying to exercise every single day which we've been doing pretty well at, and I'm very proud of myself for doing so. <laughs> hey! Back to what I was saying before the dogs decided to attack each other over the trash can. Anyways, I have been working hard, trying to drop a little bit of weight, going very slowly. We'll see what happens. Anyways, we just rigged up our rides, and now it is time for me to go rinse off and head to bed. We're planning to get up super early in the morning and go fishing, so I wanna get a good night's sleep. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so, and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.